Welcome to this lightning talk about um, how to how you can do um, radio direction finding using new radio um, and an ad hoc Butler matrix. So first of all, a few with, uh, theoretical um, theoretical fundamentals. So what is an ad hoc antenna? An ad hoc antenna was invented and also patented from Lieutenant Frank Adcock I mean, the year 1919, so it's very long time ago, but it's still uh, used in radio direction finding. And yeah, it consists of uh, two monopole or dipole antennas, and they are phase reversal combined to get this um, H-shaped radiation pattern, that you, what you can see here. And yeah, an ADCOG antenna array, and this is what we used here now. And it consists of two orthogonal ADCOG antennas, so you can see here a north antenna, a south antenna, east and west. And so the north-south pair is phase reversal combined and uh, the east-west pair. So, so this um, uh, phase reversal combining is done with a 180 degree hybrid coupler. So these are these two outputs. And uh, this um, 180 degree coupler gives you also the sum if it's used as combiner. Um, yeah, so in principle, this works as a circular interferometer. Um, yeah, so the signal which is impinging on the um, north antenna, so at this output, this is our reference output. So, yeah, the signal which impinges on all antennas um, gets no phase shift from the Butler matrix. And at this output, so the um, signal which impinges on the north antenna gets also no um, phase shift, but on the east antenna you are, um, ob are obtaining a 90 degree phase shift, a 180 degree phase shift um, at the south antenna, and at the west antenna a 270 degree phase shift. And yeah, between, so if the angel of arrival is like 40 degree, because of this coupling, it will be here interpolated. Yeah, so here you can see this, um, 180 degree hybrid coupler in the UHV band. It can be built with lumped elements. And so it's very small and you can see it here. And here you can see this mini circuits blocks in the NOK chamber. Yeah, so these two ports has to be progressed by using GNU radio. So we use the USRP B210 with two channels. And uh, afterwards, we're using a frequency x lighting filter to decimate the signal further and yeah, to get rid of the DC um, offset. And then we do this uh, to compare the, yeah, the phase channel with the reference. This is done by this division block. Then we are doing a moving average to get a more stable result. And uh, because we are only interested in the phase of this, um, we use a complex to make phase block. And the magnitude is neglected. And yeah, we're doing a, a radiance to degree conversion here and feed it to a compass. So these blocks are all available. Yeah, so no yeah, other blocks. And here you can see the measurements out of the um, anarchic chamber. So this is a what's and what principle. So you normally you used uh, three channels, but uh, yeah, I used the uh, two um, north, south, and east, west outputs. So here you can see this um, H-shaped radiation pattern, which I told before, and the estimated phase. But you can see you have an ambiguity of 180 degree. And here you can uh, see the results of this um, 180 degree hybrids, um, which I built. And you can see the phase can be um, obtained, but there's a little bit of sinusoidal error. And yeah, this is because of uh, one of this 180 degree phase shift was not very balanced and you got an amplitude error of like 30 degrees. But yeah, you can still see that you can estimate the phase. And yeah, I'm also from Detron. I wrote, write my master thesis at the moment. And if you are also interested in such topics and uh, looking for a new adventure, take a look. And yeah, we are also want to do a live demo now about it. Okay, yeah, so you can see the compass. It's also a GNU radio block, and now nothing is uh, transmitted. You can see only noise, and the compass is flittering around. 
And now Andreas is transmitting a signal at uh, 868 megahertz. And yeah, the compass is locked to the signal, you can see. And if you rotate it a little bit, you can also see yeah, the compass will also rotate. So yeah, you estimate the angel of the incoming signal. Thank you.